Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, independent demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, today I'm going to play with a Ranger Reef. And I'm also going to use the coordinating dies. And I am using the little pears, the partridge, and the two wreath dies. So I've already stamped and cut my images out in advance. And I haven't made one of these in advance, so I'm not sure what the final card is going to look like. Um, I also have this dry brush background stamp, which I have not used yet, so I thought I would use that today as well. And I'm going to use uh, the sentiment, Merry Christmas. And I'm going to take some white embossing powder and I'm going to stamp my sentiment on a piece of red. Because I don't emboss very often, but it, it looks so nice when you get it done. Okay, so I have... My card base is Pear Pizzazz. It's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White for the inside that is four inches wide by five and a quarter inches long. I have a piece of Real Red, which is four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of Whisper White, which is 3.75 by five. And this is a piece that I'm going to stamp with my background stamp. So actually I gotta grab a big block. And I'm gonna ink that up with my pear pizzazz. Oh, my pair of pizzazz is a new ink pad, so it's really, really inky. And I think I am just going to lay my piece on here and then give it a rub. And I think that is actually too dark, so I'm going to flip it over and do this side. My first time using it, so. That's a little better. So now I'm just going to grab my chamois and... Give that a wipe off. Okay, so I can set that aside. It's a great way to make your own background. I really like it. Okay, and I only got the dark edges there just because it was, I didn't get my paper in the exact same spot the second time. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to glue this piece to my real red. This would be nice if uh, you take different color um, mar uh, markers and just or if you had little ink spot Little, the little ink pads, you can do different colors. I just think it was too dark, so... Okay... So I think I'm going to put down the green 
then put down the white and then put down oops I still see a few pieces that didn't punch out or you could do you could do red green and white but I had pairs going on the top so I think I'm going to do green white and then red me oh, my allergies hope everybody's doing good I'm off today so I'm trying to get some I have a card class coming up mid-september so I got some card samples done up in advance. I'm just, I'm thinking I would like to do a Christmas design with this. So I thought, oh, well, I'll map it out and then I might as well video it, video it. Because now that I'm working, I'm going to try to do a video. And um, whenever I can, and then not upload every day, of course, but if there's a couple of days in a row that I can't get a video done, I'll already have some videos on my phone that I can just upload. That's what my plan is, so hopefully that works out. So I'm just going to add a little dot of this all the way around. There's a ring that you can see that kind of helps you keep your your die centered when you're layering. Okay, so Wouldn't this be pretty just done in like light gray and like silvers and whites? So you could do like a wedding card. There's a lot you can do. And I like this um, bundle because you can use it all year. You can use it all year long. Like I made a card. Um, the video's not uploaded yet, but. There it is. Isn't that cute? And then I did a fall one too. So you can use this all year round. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of red, uh, glue on my red piece. And I like when you don't put glue everywhere. You have like some of your little sprigs are still like loose and sticking up. Which I think is super cute. And these would be great like for a card kit that you mail too because you're not allowed to do the stamped images in the mail. But that is so cute. And I thought about stamping the sentiment in the middle, but then there'll be all this space down here. So I thought it would be cute just to add a little piece of red and then emboss your sentiment down here. Okay, so for these fellers, I'm going to pop with dimensionals.
And then I'll put a mini on his head. I take your pick tool when a mess, so I'm just using that until I find it. <laughs> Table's a mess again. So I think I want the partridge off to the side. Oops. Okay. Now my pears, I'm just going to add with dimensionals as well. Oh, it's gorgeous here today. It's like under 20 degrees Celsius, which is to me is nice because it's not too hot. I've got all my windows open, getting some fresh air in the house. It's refreshing. So I have four pairs. I'm not going to press down until I know where I want these to go for sure. And I don't want them like, you know, I want them a little, I don't want them like symmetrical. And I don't like the color of that partridge, so you know what, I'm going to take him off. And I'm going to stamp him in a darker brown. And I'm probably going to ruin some of this wreath, but I'm going to be going right back over it in the same spot. So I just don't like the color. And I use crumb cake. And I think it's just a little bit too light. Oh, yeah, I see. I am ruining a little bit of my wreath, but... I'm going to go right back over in the same spot. Okay, so I think I will do him. I'll do him on thick white cardstock. And I think I will do him in early espresso. He just wasn't popping enough for me. I, th I think he needed to be a little bit darker. much better. So, okay. I'll just have to bring up my book and find my dies. And I literally just had them like not that long ago. Hard to tell if I got him lined up with my phone right over my head, but that looks pretty good there. And 
bits off a little bit. What if I cut them out and then it's just normally where my head would be, my phone is, so. Try to stamp him this way. Okay. Don't know if it'll work, but whoops, it's worth a try. Well, it's better than this one, so. Oh, I keep getting ink all over me. So I'm going to raise him with dimensionals. Oh yeah, that's much better. So I can see where my damage is, so I'm just gonna go there. Okay. Now I think I'm just gonna glue that to my, actually no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do my sentiment now. So I'm just gonna take a piece of red, my embossing buddy. this okay so now I need my Versa mark and my sentiment okay and my white bossing powder That looks a little better. Okay. Now I just gotta grab my heat tool. Might be loud for a second here. I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna do a little bit of a angle and then I'm just gonna trim oh my lighting in this room is not good so I'm having a hard time Gonna trim this edge there. And 
And do I want to add anything there? Hmm. I just feel like it's missing something. And if my table was half halfway clean. I'm still trying to use up last year's white white thread. Add a little bow, I think. And I don't want it too big. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this to this. And I think I'll pop this up with dimensional. Add a glue dot. I'm just folding it over. Oh yeah, it needed a little something there. It's amazing how one little element can just make such a big difference. Okay, so now I need to do something to the inside of my card. Let's see. What do we have in the stamp set? Guess I could guess I could stamp a pair. I just have to it's um the pair comes as one stamp, stamp two pairs. So I'll have to try to just ink ink one pair. did I do with my I was gonna say I just had it I guess I could do two pairs 
and just kind of angle them a little bit. And then there's also, um, let me see. Also, these little, like, little leaves, I guess, that you could add to the pears. I don't know, they're pretty big. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I think one pair in the bottom corner would have been cute. I don't know that I like the two. Let me see. I guess it's not too bad. I'm just being picky. I guess it's not too bad. Maybe I'll just add one sprig to the leaves and I want a different color green so I'll see what mint macaron looks like. I think that looks worse. <laughs> oh my, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. But when you don't have a plan of what you're doing ahead of time and you're kind of Yeah, I think just one pair in the corner with the with the little sprig would be good. So I'm going to try to just stamp one pair. Let's see what happens. What did I do with my? Oh my gosh! Seriously, I was gonna say I just had it. Okay. I don't know if I can just ink one up and I'm going to put it down here in that corner and my leaf stamp and mint macaron. Yes, that looks better. I like that better. Okay. Just flip it over, you'll never see it. Never, it never happened. up a little bit of my mess. Okay. And that's the card. I think it turned out really cute for, I, I kind of had an idea what I was doing, but I just kind of cut the pieces out. I didn't do one of these ahead of time, but I like it.
I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Okay. I think I'm going to add a couple of these uh, gold metallic pearls. And I think I'm just going to do like three and add it to the the red part of the wreath, the wreath. Come on, turn over. There. Much cuter. I mean, it's it was cute before, but I like adding little rhinestones and gems. It just adds a little pizzazz. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.